people are divorcing for careless reasons. Careless reasons. And women are just moving about with a letter in their hand. Looking for all kinds of who will marry me. So let's advance to a higher law. The one that Jesus gave. In the book of Matthew chapter 5. In the book of Matthew chapter 5. Verse 27. He said, Yea, have heard that it was said by them of old, that thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall look on a woman to lust after her, had committed adultery with her in his heart. And in thy right eye offend, offend thee, plug it out, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one member should perish, and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. It has been said, can I explain the other one or you understand it already? So that we go to the main matter. Of course, what the scripture is trying to let us understand is that God judged from your heart. That in those days, those people actually, sincerely speaking, it's not because the woman is dead yet. They can just wake up and say, I don't just like you. And we write anything. She's sleeping too much. She's eating too much. She's dating. Their heart was wrong. They were writing all kinds of things, just divorcing anyhow. So long as they have a seal to just stamp, me and divorce her, she's on her own. You will go and explain tire, no evidence. Maybe you, they stay with the man for house. So the Bible begins to speak about some really serious matters. That when it comes to the context of marriage, sometimes if it comes to a point where one part will lead it to hell, cut it off. That is trying to let you understand. Mind you, it's a body. When you are married, you are united as one. But if your husband will lead you to hell, the Bible will say, cut him off. You won't understand that scripture. That's what I'm trying to Because the context of that scripture is marriage. Because you need to understand what Jesus was trying to go to when he's talking about it. It's not about cutting your eye, cutting this. No. If I adventure me and you were in a relationship and I know you lead me to hell, please. As painful as it is, it's better that I separate from you than I go to hell. It's better I go to hell with one leg than go to hell together with you. Do you understand what I'm saying now? The same way, if you are married to somebody and they, that marriage, you know that it will lead you to hell. It's better you live so that you can be able to make heaven. And when you come to the matter of the heart, the Bible said, even if you are thinking that eh, you can divorce, you may not divorce. The Bible said you can divorce if you can separate, if there is adultery. But now the matter has gone worse. It's not just until you sleep with a lady that is adultery. So Jesus was trying to prove to them that adultery is not necessary until you sleep. So long as you look upon a woman and you are desiring to sleep with her, already in your heart, you have committed adultery and fornication. So the legality of the right for you to even separate is already there. Do you understand my... And I told you, you won't go and read it and use many different versions to understand what I'm saying. Because if you go deeper... There are many people that are married today, but I'm telling you, God in heaven, God on earth, they can't sleep with themselves. They can't. They have on their, in their heart, they are sleeping with somebody else. There is somebody that their affection, their feelings already cleave to. Simple. And according to scripture, those ones are also committing fornication and adultery. If I'm married together with you, I'm married with you, I'm married to you. We lie down in the bed naked, and to you, I do not matter. You are depriving me of the right of conjugal right. And yet again, you are salivating in your mind. You are masturbating, you are watching pornography. In fact, you call someone as a companion, talking all kinds of nonsense. In recess, just because the opportunity has not presented itself, doesn't mean that you have not committed fornication or adultery. That's what that scripture says. And in this kind of matter, cut off. I know it's painful. Cut off. That's what the scripture says. And yeah, let's go further now to understand what he says now. He then said, But I said unto you, 32, right? That whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, committed adultery. So the Bible says, Whosoever shall put his wife, only for the sake of that means if 
your wife commit fornication or your husband commit fornication you can put them away are we do you understand what that scripture is saying but if they have not committed fornication or adultery you don't have the right to send them away because if they are having conjugal right with you it is permissive permitted by god but in the context where they now do that with somebody else by default they have separated from the bond of the covenant of marriage because now you are no longer one you are three and if you are three you belong to everybody so the bible said if paraventure you don't like your wife you hate her very well or paraventure you don't like your husband you hate him very well if you have a prayer to pray it's not that you should die let him sleep with somebody else you are free from him if you have the heart to leave him leave him according to the context of scripture but mind you there's another law higher than this law is the law of forgiveness if you can forgive the person you can also redeem the person back do you realize that but i'm not saying that you should not forgive but in a marriage that there is consistent adultery consistent this one the man carry woman come your home come tell you i beg mama 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 Paul, adjust, avec, adjust. They now, Mama Paul, adjust. The man fly like a lion. And after he's done, he brought another. If you remain there, you choose. It's not because God chooses. Because when there is consistent adultery and fornication, you are permitted to walk away. The person has already defiled and broken the covenant of marriage. That's why scripture. I can go again and again and show you. Go with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 3. If you are using King James, you know that that is a red letter. It means Jesus Christ is the one that is saying it. He went for that to say. The Pharisee also came unto him, tempting him and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And he said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You see, Jesus talk all those talk, share all those mysteries. They now went further. The Pharisees are good in arguing. They now said unto him, Why did Moses then command us to give a written letter of divorcement and put her away? And he said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffer you to put your wives away but from the beginning it was not so and i want to submit to you that from the beginning it was not so till now it was not so never marry because you want to divorce if i know i'm going to marry you and i will divorce you i will never marry you there are some signs you see in a relationship you are in a relationship with somebody sleeping around what are you? that is already a reason for this thing that we are talking about now Many of you have seen this sign. You have an unfaithful boyfriend, an unfaithful guy, an unfaithful. See, even if the marriage is supposed to be tomorrow, the person sleeps with somebody today. See, if you can call it off, call it off. Even in the legality of marriage, you are free. Talk more of relationship. The law of forgiveness you work, but are you guaranteed the person will change? Are you the Holy Spirit? The safest place for you to be, my brother, is actually to let go. But if you feel that you will receive grace, the Bible speaks about the church in the book of Revelation, that I have seen your pain, I have seen your tribulation. So more grace is supplied for you, for you to be able to endure. There are people that are able to endure inside the flame. Some people cannot. There are people that if they, are, if they catch their husband with a woman in the room, they will go and kill themselves. There are women like that. There are women that if they just even find out from your chat, they see that some, they can go and drink poison and die. You are the one now that killed the person. Is it not better for that person to be alive? 